Hi everybody, um, I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to um, create an avatar in Voki and then how to use that embeddable code into a Moodle. So this is my Voki homepage. You obviously need to sign in with an email and a username. Write that down or better yet put it on a Google Doc and save it forever and name it Grandma's Brownie Recipe. Anyway, um, so, um, so these are all the different Vokis that I can create. I can edit these or I can create new ones. And obviously you see that a lot of mine look alike, but they are so easy to create that once you create one, it's very easy to create another one, or you can just keep re-editing the same one. It's really up to you. Um, I would probably have a Vokey for every course that I was teaching because you may have different messages, and if you only have one Vokey, that's the, the mess one message is the only one. They do record up to um, 90 seconds. Um, you can type. You don't have to have a microphone or a camera or anything like that. Um, um, but they are fairly intuitive. So I just went to create to get started. So I'm just going to show you from the get-go what how you get an avatar going. So um, so you you either get you you can actually select here from from different categories of characters. From first of all, you can go through all of these and figure out ones that you like. Um, and you just have to peruse all those. I just happen to know that the avatar that I like is in the classic. Is the classic female and I pick her and now I'm gonna move on to my my hair and um, my hair is fine but I'm actually gonna go down here and tweak the color a little make it a little bit redder oh actually I want to do my hair so I make it a little whoa it's not quite that red alright and and that's fine um, I could mess with my skin my mouth I mean you can do all sorts of things um, to to make things look exactly the way that you want. You can tweak how big, how small your mouth is, how big, how small your nose is. You can do all of those things. So I just invite you just to play with this as to your heart's content, okay? So um, you could um, move on to the mouth, which I guess you can choose a different mouth if you would like. Um, I'm gonna go back here and um, actually I'm gonna go to bling and bling is where I get my glasses if you just happen to be a glass wearer just so you know let's see let's try to find some a little fun here let's go with this look this time let's see how that works for me um, and then I also like to pick my clothing I generally um, just pick casual and I usually just pick like some sort of a black t-shirt which I'm not seeing Oh goodness gracious, you'd think I'd be able to find my t-shirt faster than this, huh? Alright, here we go, this is fine. Alright, we'll put that on. I could put a hat on, okay? So you just really navigate through all of these. You can pick different categories. So really it's just a matter of going through all of that. So that's basic steps to how you change your avatar, okay? Just tweak, play, have fun. Now, I'm ready to move on to my background. You can actually change the color of your a little screen here right now I have a forest green oh actually I'm sorry I'm now I'm doing backgrounds I apologize so I picked backgrounds so what's going on in the back of me and so what I generally do is um, I uh, you can navigate again all of these main sort of upper level categories I always go to indoors because I just happen to know that there is like a classroom right there so I always put the classroom behind me and then you can also change the color of your player which is what I was saying before I have forest green here and you can just pick any color do uh, more county school blue okay so now I've got my avatar looking somewhat the way I like it and I am you can type here and uh, you can fill this in um, type your text here you can copy and paste from a word page you can change your language here or accent or language and then um, but I, I personally just record um, a quick a quick guy it's gonna ask um, well, is it okay if uh, we uh, allow your um, stuff to remember, um, like your microphone, you want to make sure that the, all this stuff is all good, okay? And I'm not actually using a, I'm not actually using a, uh, anything there, so I'm just going to say a close. And then I am going to record, hopefully, of course this always happens, setting. And I hope I just said 
allow. Okay, there we go. I clicked that a little allow. So sorry about that. So now I get my record button. So if um, you, you're not getting, one thing you always want to do is right click on something and you generally can go to settings and that's when you can start looking at your microphone stuff. So anyway, just want to record. You can have an external microphone. There you go. I can see it starting to record and now I'm actually recording onto my Vokey what I'm saying to you now. And then um, you can see you have up to 90 seconds, which is actually quite a long time. It just changed to 90 seconds. It used to be, uh, it used to be only 60 seconds, so that's really nice. So I've been recording that all along. And we're going to say stop. Turn on microphone. There you go. I can see it starting to record. And now I'm actually recording. So you don't on. have to hear all that. So you got to give it a little title. So I'll just call it test. Um, okay. Turn on microphone. There you go. I can see it starting to record. And now I'm going to stop it so you don't have to do anything. I'm going to say done. Okay. So now I've recorded. You can type. You can phone. And I can do that. You're most likely going to record. Um, again, you can, when you're recording, you can change the language um, of both a recorded message or a typed message into the language you need it to be. It's very nice. When you're all set, you say publish. You give this, um, you give this a name. So this will be MCS Vokey. I'm going to say save. And then it just does this, and it bubbles up and bubbles up. Now. When you first create an avatar, every if you use the to the create button, you always come here to this, and I I really don't encourage you to do this. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to jump back into your Vokey, because what will happen is all your Vokeys that you create will come into this place. So here is this one, and this is really where I want you to learn how to get your embeddable code. You really always want to go back to my Vokey, okay? So down here is where you get to start to choose where this thing's going. Well, for Moodle or just about anything really, unless you're going to specifically be using one of these other things, the best thing to grab is just the JavaScript, okay? And I just picked MySpace. I meant JavaScript. I always get the small player. It just seems to be better. And again, Boki is not a URL. It does not. There's not a website that you can direct people to. You have to actually embed it into um, a web-based page or Moodle or Wiki. So I'm going to jump over here. So now I've copied and pasted this embeddable code into onto my clipboard. So I'm at our course. Now I obviously already have a Vokey here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you actually get a Vokey into your course. If you want to use it like this, you can put a Vokey on any of these web pages too. You can just insert it. But I, I tend to leave with a player out here. So how you really do that, the easiest way to do that is to create an HTML block. And everything you add is always going to be at the bottom. So here's the thing that I just added. So I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to call it MCS Test Vokey. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. And this is where, you know, I... I this is, it's pretty okay for this because um, all you're going to do is you can't copy and paste that code right here. Moodle won't read it as embeddable code there. You actually have to toggle, toggle over to the HTML side of things, which is called the, the HTML editor. And you're going to go there, and you, that's, just a, that's just HTML for break. It doesn't really matter. And you're going to copy the stuff here. Okay? And you can toggle back over and you'll actually see, you won't see anything, okay? But that's okay. <laughs> don't get freaked out if you don't see anything. But go down here and say save changes, and I hope all that is good in this world that it will pop up in this bottom black. Let's hope that all is well, please, and there it is, okay? Now, if you want to, um, getting embedding code into a web page becomes a little more tricky because you actually have to find in the code where exactly you want things to be. Not there, I mean here. So that's a lot of code to go through. When you get better, you'll be able to figure out where you can come in here and actually paste the code and the Vokey could show up there. But really, I really recommend that you um, you just use Vokey in the HTML block. I think that's the simplest application, especially if you're just starting out. Um, so um, that was a very hopefully quick and short tutorial about how to set up your Vokey avatar and then embed it into an HTML block in a Moodle course. Cheers!